Hey guys, it's Shalice, and today, okay, so I know that in my last BoxyCharm video I said that I was going to do a makeup tutorial. Well, that hasn't happened because I've been at the gym all week at this great new place called Burn uh, Boot Camp in Corvallis, and I will be doing another video about that soon. I wanted to get basically a week worth, worth of um, workouts done before I even put all those videos together and um, make a full review about it. But I did say that there was something else I was planning and it's so funny because, okay, so I found these. The Ardell Magnetic Accent Lashes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Now I was going to get these at Ulta for $13.99 and I found these at Fred Meyer for $12.99 and you're probably going to say, but Chalice, you can use a coupon. I didn't have it with me and I didn't feel like looking it up. So I saved myself a dollar and went to Fred Meyer. Um, so I got those and I wanted, I was very, very, very excited to do a video on these. Um, I've heard reviews about the longer strips and them not fitting too well unless you cut them. And that's just, that's too much work for me. So I'm going to give these a try and see how they work and then... Um, go from there. Uh, these are, it just says accents upper lower zero zero one. So I guess that is the style. There is no specific name like wisps or um, diva or anything like that. It's just accents number one. So I will show you that. That's what I got and that's what we're going to work with. So let me go ahead and put some mascara on and set up a mirror and I'll be right back. All right, so it's all blurry. There we go. So um, I have my mascara on, as you can see. <sighs> Side note, I use the Butter London um, Double Decker, uh, Double Decker Lashes Mascara. Um, and I had a lot of problems with it this time for some reason. Um, on this eye, it just went all over my eyelid and it could be because it's my makeup right now is stored in my office away from heat. It's really cold. It could have been super cold because the second eye wasn't as bad, but I did have to use my, um, eye comb and you can see some mascara right in there to just separate my lashes, um, because it was clumping up quite a bit and actually there's still a bit of clump on this side, but... At this point, I don't think there's much I can do. Oh, come on. Oh, got a little bit off. It's not much I can do about it, but um, yeah, so that's what I got. So anyway, this is not a mascara review. It is an eyelash review. So uh, let me read what it says. Gently remove, remove the upper magnetic lash from tray and lay on top of the natural lash line. Number two, gently remove the under magnetic lash from tray and place beneath the lash line to connect the two magnetic lashes together. To remove, use the index finger and thumb. Carefully slide the top and bottom magnets away from each other one by one. Do not pull lashes straight off. Okay, and that's why I put on my mascara to begin with um, because I want to save these because they're expensive for some Ardell lashes. Um, and I wasn't trying to gunk them up with mascara and ruin them. So, um, as some of you know, I do theater, and these would be absolutely perfect for theater. But um, we got to see if they're going to work. So, I've taken the top off. So, this is the right, this is the left. That's what we're looking at. I'm going to take start with the right. Oh, okay, and it's not... I was worried. I'm like... Okay, now, if you can see those, uh, let's see if it's going to, okay, those little dots, are, excuse my nails, those little dots right there, those are sticky. So be careful when you are removing the lashes so that, number one, it doesn't pull any of the lashes off. Number two, I have a little bit of that stick left on there, so I'm just pulling that off of the lash. All right, so that's what we have. Um, 
Let me go ahead and remove the second, the bottom one as well, so it's just kind of readily available. And that's the bottom. So my mirror is right here. I will be looking in the mirror, but I will try to uh, come back to the camera. I'm really nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I put on lashes all the day. I go, well, I don't wear makeup that much, but when I do, I wear lashes all the time. So I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. So here we go. I'm going to put this on top of my lashes where I would normally, and I'm, see it's sticking. That little bit of goo, it's sticking to the bottom one too. Okay, number one tip. When you get these off, make sure that all that goo is gone from the lash itself and from your fingers because it will stick. And that makes it difficult. That's my first tip without even putting them on. Okay, so I think we got it. I'm gonna put this, lay it where I would normally put my lashes, as close to, I hope you guys can see that, the lash line as possible. So that's kind of where I would, oh, that looks really good. Put my lashes, okay. Top lashes on. Here's my bottom lash. Make sure there's no sticky. Oh, there's some on this side. Okay. Now you put these under your lash so that hopefully the magnets come together and uh, sandwich your lashes together. Okay, so that's how it looks right now. And then I'm just going to push them together. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to close it. And I'm not going to see what this looks like until I edit my video. But in the mirror. Wait, let me get really close. Let me move this all this shit out of the way. That's what it looks like closed. Um... I opened my eye and I was out of camera, so I'm doing it again to see if I'm in the camera. Um, oh my God. Okay. If this is, if this works, I have to watch the video back to when I edit it to see if <sighs> I need to buy like eight more pair of these. So I never run out of lashes again. Okay. So it does look like it is kind of on my lash on this side just further inspection because it's not the first <sighs> impression. Um, let's do a second side and see if it comes out any better. You know, sometimes with practice, you can learn how to avoid certain things. So my second one, I'm going to put where I would Typically, place. Oh, see, I have that sticky. But I, oh my God, see, this one's much harder. Um, but I also think that maybe I'm gonna tilt it. I don't know. If, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Tilt it down like that. There we go. Okay. So tilting it down works much better. This is the bottom lashes. Okay, see this one's already kind of, oh geez, okay. Okay, okay, I think we got it. So I'm gonna take my bottom lash. Oh, that one's a disaster. Yep, that one, nope, okay. So these obviously <laughs> take some getting used to. Or maybe this is the lash I always have problems with, but I never notice it because I'm always able to adjust it because it's glue. I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm not going to take the bottom. Oh my god, that one just went on 
like super smooth. And that one's also way down here. So as opposed to that one, that's it. How did I get the first one done like perfectly? But that's okay because it should, now it gives us a chance to remove them. So it says take your forefinger and your thumb, push them the opposite way to release. Okay, that kind of worked. I just pushed a little bit to release them and then see both of them are here. But then, okay, hopefully you can see this. But then what I did is push them. Let's see if it's gonna focus. Yeah. Push them the opposite way like that. And then pull them. I hope, I don't know if that's gonna show, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try this again. <sighs> okay. Okay, I got it. Oh, let's hope this bottom one goes on. I'm gonna try the... And again, that one kind of went on a little wonky, but you know what? It's better than it could be, I guess. And it's only my second time trying to get them on, so. <sighs> Tell me what you guys think. There's that side, and there's that side. And it's probably just me, because honestly, when I wear these lashes, it's not like anybody's going to be up in my face. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. So that's what we got. I'm I'm super impressed overall. I, I know I got some work to do and I know I'm gonna have to play with them a bit and, and get them perfect, but for the most part, and I also think that my mascara, I'm gonna have to work with that a little bit just to separate. Okay, maybe it's the lashes that need to separate it right there. Hmm. There, on this eye more than the other, there's a little bit of separation there with the lashes and the uh, and my lashes, so we're gonna have to work on that. But other than that, I'm, I'm super stoked. So I'm really happy that I have these lashes and I hope they hold up. And yeah, these are these are gonna be awesome. So tell me what you guys think down in the description box and. Uh, yeah, go ahead and pick them up. They're at Ulta, $13.99. You can use a coupon. Um, and I saw them at Fred Meyer. That's where I got these for $12.99. I don't know how much they are at other places, but those are two places that I looked and, hey, it worked out. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time.